Hello guys, this is Real Takedo. Welcome to a brand new let's play of another RPG, as you expect from an RPG channel. So in today's, uh, I mean, in for the playthrough this time around, we will be tackling Cod Vein. So the thing about Cod Vein is it's a game that I've really really want to play for some time but I've actually been in a dilemma for the past few days because I'm not sure whether if I should play this um, during my own private time or if I should do it for the channel but after giving it some thoughts I, I think I would try to um, record it for the channel uh, there's a reason why I would rather play this during um, during my own personal time. Uh, I have some disclaimer to tell you guys that I'm not too good with these type of games, these soul-like games. Um, despite the very fact, <laughs> despite the very fact that for the past for the last few months I have beaten, I, I know it sounds crazy, but I've actually beaten Dark Souls one, two, three. Bloodborne with the DLC uh, all offline it, I, because because of my country I can't really play online so I've been playing them offline I I actually beat them all Dark Souls 1, 2, 3 all the DLC Bloodborne all the DLC in fact I've beaten Dark Souls twice and um, Bloodborne three times because I was trying to get all the three endings and also <laughs> yeah, just last month just last month I've actually completed Nio, 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 with the with the three DLC. So yeah, it's gonna sound strange saying that I'm terrible at these games, but it, it it's kind of true because whenever I got stuck at the boss, then I will either just keep on challenging it for hours. If not, I'll just go and spend another countless hours getting my guy up but I would like to believe that the experience I've gained from those games have kinda sharpened me up <laughs> I'm not sure that's the right way to say so let's just hope that I don't get stuck too often in court vein so th that's the reason why I've been uh, thinking about whether if I should play during my personal time because if I play during personal time and if I get stuck, then I might spend 10, maybe 10 hours, 5 to 10 hours grinding away to level my characters up, which some people might be upset. But, 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 but the thing is, uh, for this playthrough of Court Wayne, which is, by the way, my very first playthrough, uh, we are going to go for a more uh, chill chill play style so meaning that maybe I won't be offering too much commentary because I just want to experience uh, I want to enjoy the feel of the game um, as you know for this type of soul like games you are supposed to enjoy the scenery enjoy the environment enjoy the settings and all those stuff um, so yeah going for a much more Chilled gameplay for this game. So, without further ado, let's get this started. Uh, as I mentioned, the internet in my country is kind of terrible, and I don't have PS Plus because I don't have money. <laughs> so I'm gonna play this is offline. Uh, as you can see, I have continued here. Uh, the reason is I actually just went in to create my character because I know that uh, creating character takes time, it takes a lot of time. So I actually went in just to create my character. Um, I did play the demo version of Cop Wing, so I roughly know what is going on, but still, uh, for this uh, full game, I only just went in, create my character, uh, save the appearance and get out. So I am obviously just going to start a new game. So I'm here chilling with my soft drink. Delicious. I will see. 
Good morning. Hey, can you hear me? Think back. Search your memory for an image of yourself. Okay, so remember my name. Obviously, go with my usual name, court name. I am going to go with Silver. Uh, in German, that means silver. Uh, I don't know. For some reason, I like the color of silver. And I'm also intrigued by German. So, so that's why I decided to use court name Silver. As you can see in a minute, why I use my court name Silver. Mel. Of course. All right. So, uh, as you can see, I have two appearances. Uh, this is the one that I've actually used for my demo. Uh, the reason is because I really like this uh, anime character. Uh, he's from uh, 1998 uh, anime called Vice Cruise, and his name is Fujima uh, Fujimiya Rand. Or for his court name, uh, yeah, he's an assassin. So I. I was tr I wanted to create a image of him, so that's why we have him here. But that is not the character that we're gonna use because we are not playing as Aya from Wise Cruise. So in fact, in fact, I'm gonna use my own personal character that I've cre created. So usually for customized characters, I like to have my character to have somewhat of a long hair, even though he's not really having a long hair. I don't know why. Oh, excuse me. I don't know why this time around I don't give him long hair, but still somewhat of a long hair. And as you can see, my hair is silver because I like silver hair. I even got it during my college days. It's really awesome. I gave him blue earring. Uh, here some necklace. Uh, black uh, glasses. I like my characters to look smart, you know. And yep. And this is the one that we'll be going with. Yeah, that's what you look like. Now, we can finally meet. I like smart, smart people actually. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> open the menu, check my blood cord, it's fighter type. That is a fighter blood code, which is excellent for combat. Each talent that a blood code bestows is known as a gift. The fighter blood code grants ever-increasing endurance. It seems you also have a gift that temporarily enhances your attack power. Try it out. Oh, okay, adrenaline. Temporarily boosts attack power. Very well. Give it a try. Yes, that will do. Be warned. The effects of a gift will not work unless it is prepared in advance. I forgot something important. You will need special blood to activate gifts. This blood comes from revenants who have forgotten themselves and turned into monsters. The lost. You can drain Ikor from the lost by striking them with your weapon. Remember that. Those are the basics of a fighter's gifts. Use and learn each of them well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I could charge attack. Ubaka. Hi. Well done. Thank you. Ordinarily, a revenant has only one blood code, but you are different. The blood code you once held was broken and has vanished. That has left you with infinite possibilities. 
You have the unique talent to change your blood color. Come, look deep within yourself. Oh, Ranger. So I guess this is pretty much similar to the demo, huh? Ranger. That blood coat is known as Ranger. Oh dear, that weapon seems to be too heavy for you. Rangers are nimble and best at fighting with light weapons. Try switching to a bayonet. Okay. as well that and gifts means i core always seems scant that is where the blood veil you have equipped comes in using your blood veil will let you quickly drain i core from the lost in addition this can increase the amount of i core you can hold if you have a chance to drain i core from a foe use it okay so oh Okay, that's interesting. Combo Jane. Can I use Combo Jane? No. Oh, okay, that's cool. Wait, what's this triangle? Pew pew! Ah, oh, that used the uh, I call too. Ah, ow, ow. Sorry, 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 sir. I'm just gonna give you a good back rub. There you go. shot okay uh yeah you learn quickly no oh, thank you bloodshot favors range over power let's see try learning another gift you can learn gifts by touching missiles try it yourself blazing raw Sure. That wasn't hard, was it? Now since you've learned it, why not try it out? Okay, so equip blazing raw. Seems like a good skill to have. Ooh. However, its cost and eye core is high. So be careful that you use it at the right time. In addition, its power will change according to the blood veil you equip. Blood veils have different affinities with gifts. It can be complicated, but keep it in mind. Hi, I have a Christmas present for you. Look. Another one. Oh, 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 it's resetting. Ka. Ha. Huh. Easy. This game is easy. Excellent work. It's all quite sudden, but you picked it up, right? The disappearance of your blood code has left you with unique, limitless capabilities. Not only can you change blood codes, but you can acquire new ones as well. The strength of others can become your own. A talent that you alone possess. Since you are the only one who can do this, your blood is the only teacher you have. Now, awaken and save your No problem. Leave it to me.
Welcome back. Hello. How are you feeling? Don't worry, it's okay. I don't remember either. Over there. No. Oh. oh man, I can't even open the menu. Ugh. Ugh. I feel like an old man. Ugh. It's dry, isn't it? Yeah. Everything's dry. We can go slowly. Um uh, Are you here with you? Are you slow enough? You want me to go slower? I can if you want. Just a bit farther. All right. We're all right. Man. Spring will slake our thirst. That looks good. I have been waiting for such a long time. Seems everyone, everywhere, is thirsty. There is a spring that will cure that thirst, one that weeps tears of blood. That's what they said, anyway. This way. So, it is you. Uh. Here, this is for you. A new spring and a fresh source of labor. Ha <laughs> ha! We really hit the jackpot. Get up.
It's time for a bit of fun. Whoa, keep it down. Your friend just fell asleep. No, I can't drop off from there. Okay, you get some rest. The view never improves, does it? He came back home after the war against the Queen and found this mist. Getting close to it causes enough pain to drive you mad, so no one has ever crossed it. There's nowhere to go home to. Even outside of this prison. Okay, so I think it seems we're having this war against this queen. Ooh, what's that? Can I have some? Ooh, looks tasty. <sighs> the hell are you staring at? Okay, too long. Okay. Oh. Check your gear and come up. Looks like the folks upstairs want you. Well, they can wait, can't they? More importantly, that mask suits you. Oh, thanks. Without those things, we revenants will join the ranks of the lost in a flash. So be careful. There's no way we're gonna find blood beads. The missiles all dried up and the miasma keeps getting thicker. Telling us to look for blood beads here is just crazy. Are you going to kill me too? Anything for a kick, right? Just don't crush my heart. Man, I want to get into a fight as soon as possible. I don't remember the beginning. This one's dry. And my asthma's pretty thick. Has a very long cutscene. Damn it! We're running out of time before the next collection. Everything's ready. Right. I'm on my way. <laughs> All dried up. Just like the others. Yeah, all dried up. So there's no sense in searching with the miasma like this. Let's... You know what these are, right? Blood beads, right? Yes, very good. Now I want you to search for blood beads in the tunnels ahead of here. You see, it's only a short time before the Collectors come to take our levy. But once they do, I'm afraid we won't have any blood beads to give them. If we don't find some, Silva's hounds will strip the shirts right off our backs. Well, that's the long and short of it. W why does it have to be us? Don't ask me. The stupid levy system was Silva's idea. If you have a complaint, I suggest you take it up with him. You lot go first. Get to work. Don't. There's a better time and place. For now, we just have to obey. Next! Whoa there. You wait here with us. You can have this one back when you return. In exchange for any blood beads you find, of course. Oh, and I hear the hunter has been showing up around here lately. So make sure you don't all get killed. The hunter? <clears throat> I wonder what he's referring to. You heard him. Move it! Ow. Ouch. Hey, you okay? It looks like we can't get back up from here. We'll have to look for another way back. Oh, 
I'm Oliver Collins, by the way. Nice to meet you. Uh, resting at the missile. Okay, no problem, no problem. And I guess this is where we will end today's episode. In the next episode, we will have to go through this area and look for blood beads. So, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Stay cool guys.